Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen the introduction to computer networks and in today's session we'll go with the another concept that is types of networks. So in the previous session we have seen what is the definition of a network. So definition of a network is a collection of or a connection of a several computers is called a network. So here majorly this there are three types of networks. One is local area network which is known as LAN. Metropolitan network which is called as MAN Wide Area Network which is WAN mm. So these are the different types of networks. So different ways we can connect the computers. Now we will see one by one. So the main difference between all these three is the range. A difference in range. Right. So let us see one by one. First, we will go with the local area networks. So, local area network means the name itself indicates that computers will be connected in a specified range. So, connection of computers in limited range. In terms of, uh, I mean, in a building or within the college or within the bank, etc. So, this is called the local area networks. Right? Then, the main purpose of this uh, land is sharing the resources. See, sharing the resources means the first one we can use the printer we can have a only one printer which can be shared among all the computers in the specified building or within the college or within the bank so we can share the common printer similarly some software application so an application can be installed in one system and that can be shared among a different computers in a local area network and the third one is data so this is common so we can also share the data among all the users in a local area network and it is it will be having high security because there will be a limited number of computers and the range will also be within the, within the uh, limited range so we can achieve the high security but but lack of privacy so there will be no privacy so once a data is used in the system that data can be accessed by all the users of a local area network. So, a data can be accessed by unauthorized users. Uh, unauthorized users means all the users which are available in the local area network. So, that is main drawback of this local area networks. Right? So, hope you understood this one. So, main purpose is within the limited range. This will be Established in within the limited range, right? So within the building or a college or a bank. 
now we will go with the second type of network that is metropolitan area network see this is commonly known as man metropolitan area network so it is a connection of different <coughs> lands so we know that land is a local area network and connecting a different lands is called as this metropolitan area network so that means it can be connected within the city within the city right so an example so example means Connecting all the branches in a city. So, if you take any bank, okay, any bank, so connecting all the branches in a city will be considered as a metropolitan area network. So, the main purpose of this connection is sharing of data sharing of data so the data will be centralized so that any branch any branch can access the data right so this is one best example for this uh, this one so again it is also having the less security because a multiple users will be accessing this one so it will be having less security and these lands will be connected with the help of fiber cables fiber optics or cables so with the help of these transmission media the data can be shared from one branch in a city to another branch in a city so communication between different branches in a same city or a town so that is one example for metropolitan area network and the main drawback of this one is requires more cables more cable because the transmission media is more uh, i mean uh, the transmission media is cable or fiber optics so requires uh, requires a more cable if number of branches are increased in a city so in order to connect all those things we require more cable or a fiber optics so this is all about more metropolitan area network that is man now we'll move on with the next one that is wide area network we all know the we all know this wide area network wide area network so that means the range will be high now the connection of computers within i mean uh, in between different cities okay here the connection will be among different cities or states and here the transmission media is see here the transmission medium will be satellite or telephone cable and the main purpose of this wide area network is also sharing of data and it is a connection of it is a connection of lands by metropolitan area networks so here with the help of routers the data is shared data sharing will be done with the help of this telephone cable or a satellite 
using uh, routers uh, routers right here also we'll be having less security need to have firewall need to have a firewall in order to restrict the unauthorized access to this one and best example for this wide area network is internet it's a world wide web internet is the best example for this wide area network so by using the internet we can share the data from one computer to another computer which is available in different states or different cities or different countries so the data will be transferred in a speed okay so the transmission media will be either satellite or a telephone cables right so with the help of routers the data will be sent to the destination right so this is all about the wide area network so hope you understood this uh, different types of networks we have seen the local area network metropolitan area network and a wide area network the difference among all these three is range local area network means within the building or within the office so uh, why a metropolitan area network means within the city connecting all the different branches so next within the i mean uh, wide area network is uh, among different cities right so here the maintenance will be expensive in a wide area network and comparatively in the local area network the maintenance will be very less because all the computers will be within the sim single building so easily we can find out the errors so the maintenance will be very less and the data transfer will be very high in local area network right so hope you understood this one let us stop here so if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and if you are having any doubts regarding this computer networks you feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for listening thank you very much